how y'all doing? Well, had to start the generator. We didn't get a whole lot of sun today. You can tell it's a little cloudy. But we are in Thai City Campground in, well, out from Laramie, Wyoming. It cost us $5 a night and you can stay here for 14 days. It's a little windy, sorry about that. But it's dirt and you can tell we had to level up a lot on this particular site. We're on site uh, seven, I do believe. It's pretty. I mean, it's in the forest, of course. There's site eight across from us. There is a pit toilet there and a newer pit toilet there. All the sites have a stand-up grill, a fire pit, which you can actually have a fire in, and a picnic table. And there are 16 sites in this campground. The road coming in is dirt. They, they uh, scraped it the other day, so it's pretty, pretty good now. This is our site right here. Little bit of buffer from the dust when people come flying in here. But you know, you have that everywhere you go. And Jim and Deb are camped on site nine. And they got them one of those gazebos. We have really enjoyed that with them, really have. There's lots of hiking and um, biking in this campground. And as you can see, there is a dumpster right there. It's pretty awesome. That building there, we think the uh, forest rangers, that's where they have their meetings and whatnot for this area. You got all of these pretty uh, cottonwood and aspen trees in here. It's very nice. Not that far from uh, Laramie, you're actually kind of in between. Well, it's further to Cheyenne than it is to Laramie. Laramie is about 10 miles. Not too bad. Not too bad. And of course, they have all the amenities that you need. They have a Walmart and all kinds of restaurants and stuff. So it's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. You can go right up here to the um, summit where the Lincoln Memorial is and get water. Dump in town by the museum at exit 3. 316 is where you dump. Okay, 316 is where you can go and dump at the prison uh, museum. What do you think? It's it's interesting. I want to learn about it. Y'all see what he's looking at? This is a game we bought years and years ago. It's the instructions. Yes. Oh. Oh. It's called cash flow. It's called cash flow, right? And it teaches you. Wait a minute. It teaches you how to get out of the rat race, how to invest your money, how to make deals. It's a very educational game. Mm -hmm. And this young man here wants to learn everything he can about stocks and investing and all that good stuff. It shows you how to not spend on frivolous things. Yeah. And that's what that's what most Americans have a problem with. What, spending their money? On frivolous things. You don't spend your money on something that is going to be gone tomorrow. Unless it's a good investment. And mm -hmm. it's going to make you money. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or if I mean, you have we, the uh, money for it. Right. Uh, if and the, the frivolous... Well, we all have to have clothes. Yeah. But you don't have to have the most expensive clothes. We all have to eat, but you don't have to have caviar every night. You know, that kind of thing. 
Yeah. You know, you can't have steaks every night. Exactly. Okay. But if you have the money to spend on those things, if you did right with your money before, then you can buy it somewhat of the time. It's still bad to buy it all the time. Exactly. The object of this game is to teach you how life can work uh, while you work and prepare life and how you spend your money in life. Uh, a lot of people, they just spend every dollar they paycheck to paycheck. This game tells you, it will teach you, you, you can't be thinking that way. That's the wrong way of thinking. Okay? Well, this game lets you know, this, everybody in the world calls it the rat race of life. The rat race of life being working nine to five every day and really it's a rat race to keep your job. You drive to work. Some people drive to work over two hours. They don't get home till seven, eight o'clock at night. They're tired. They've had a tough day. They have an angry boss. They had to fight traffic on the way home. They get home. Their wife is upset because they've had to work all day. These things make it the rat race of life. A kid is sick, a parent's sick, you have obligations, you like you never have no time for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's the rat race of life. If you let it control you, it will. But if you control it, you control your own outcome in the rat race. There will always be some type of race. And part of this is the game of life. So you have to, what they don't teach young people is to understand you can be in control of your life financially. Mm -hmm. And people who are financially in control of their life, the rules are a lot different. Okay? Mm -hmm. So just remember that. He who has cash is king. <laughs> and can't nobody tell him really what to do. I and mean, he has to follow the laws. Mm -hmm. But as he acquires more wealth, those laws insulate him somewhat because of money. So money can be a good or a bad thing. Too little money can cause bad things to happen to you. Enough money can make you comfortable. Too much money can make you miserable because that's all you'd be worried about is money. But if you're working, understand money, the tool money can be for you. To me, in my life, money's a tool. For a lot of people, it's different things. You know, so you need to know, there's two, several things you need to know about money mm -hmm. who owns the money how does the money work in your economy how does your money work for you mm -hmm. those kinds of things a lot of people never ask themselves and no one ever has enough money do mm -hmm. Papa does because I understand money mm -hmm. I understand who makes it who prints it who controls it and who owns it When you ask yourself the things about money, you can talk to people, they know everything about science. But you know what? They don't know anything about money. Money's the pivot point. Everything spreads off of that. Money, yeah. You go to work and show up, without money, is none of it's possible. It's the system that we're in. Money's been around since Jesus Christ walked the earth and before then. People bartered, they trade, and they use coinage, they use money. So money's always been around. Mm -hmm. And you have to ask questions. In my system, my system, not ancient Rome, mm -hmm. not Italy today, but my system where I'm at, who controls the money? Who controls the money supply? I know who prints the money. Who does? Who prints the money? No. Yeah. Federal Reserve. Mm -hmm. Now the Federal Reserve is who? Is it part of the federal government? What is it? It's a corporation. Corporation? Very good. Okay. You need, there's certain things you need to know about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you start learning these things, you get older, it'll make you a lot wiser. And you'll look at that money and think, wow, <laughs> I work for this. And what you do with it is very important. So this teaches you those strategies. It's a very, very good game. If you're kind of into wanting to have a successful life. Money is not the most important thing in life. Mm -hmm. It's how you use the money. 
Exactly. Right. Owie. Owie. Yeah. Idaho Spud. Idaho Spud. That's what we got, y'all. We were in Idaho. We got us some spuds. It uh -huh. says on the side, this candy made Idaho famous. And Yum Yum, yum Company yum. owns them. Mm. Okay. So the taste test begins. <laughs> oh. Oh. It, oh. it has coconut oh, in it. Hold over the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, coconut. It's a, let's see what it looks like. A little cake. Oh. I guess. Yeah, it looks like it has coconut all over it. Let's see what the inside looks like. It has a cream Ooh, inside. Oh, like a potato. Mm -hmm. Kind of like marshmallow. Yeah? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Real sweet. Pretty, Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, hold over, Papa. Mm hmm. <laughs> the coconut. It's good? Yeah. You would reckon? You'd yeah. recommend it? I recommend it. They are sweet. Is it rich, sweet? Mm-hmm. What do you think, Trip? I like it. <laughs> Y'all give it a thumbs up? Yeah. Papa? Mm-hmm. Okay. Idaho Spud, y'all. Yep. Chocolate candy. Very good. Woohoo! From Idaho. All right. <laughs> Quite the event here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And what are we doing today, Trip? We're watching the rodeo. Woohoo! It's the uh, largest. It's the largest uh, outside arena in the world. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, it has been an epic summer. <laughs>